Hello everybody, welcome to more Drawn and John. Where today we'll be drawn, like we always do. Um, as always, find me on Instagram, schoon.art, S-C-H-O-O-N period art. Email me, jason at schoon.art, and um, yeah, let's get to it, I guess. Another photo from the phone. Again, I just like photos like this. They're, uh, you know, candid, whatever you want to say about them. It's true. I just like the unprofessional nature of them. You know, it gives them a real honest quality. My thing is, you know, I've been, um, you know, recording all these episodes on my phone. So I've been, in the last week or so, I've been struggling with, uh, oh, like, what do I delete? What do I keep? And obviously I can't, like, delete all my um, photos of, like, my kids and stuff and my family, you know. I mean, how often do I look at them? You know, whenever, I guess, the phone prompts me to and it makes one of their, um, like, oh, look, we made this memory slideshow for you. But, um, yeah, no, I, I think one of the reasons why I like enjoying working from these photos is because, like, it gives you a chance to actually, or gives me a chance to actually look at and appreciate them, you know, again, and kind of go back to some of these moments that, you know, why I, I snapped the picture in the first place. enough to imply at least So I never know exactly where to start, you know, when I'm about to draw a figure, especially when I'm just diving in with pen. Um, I mean, it's not, I don't know, I'm like, you know, it's one of the, like, I, I guess I do kind of know where to start because I have done it before and I've, you know, I'm able to repeat that process. Um, but like, I don't know, like, how I make that decision, it's like, you know, I'm just kind of looking around, hovering the pen across the paper and I don't know, I think what I'm looking for is like, like, I started here. This is an arm. Um, no, I guess with this picture, like, this, I feel like, is the focus here. It's a nice bright area. The picture's a little bit dark, but it kind of creates, you know, this point of light for everything. Um, so I guess I started there because of that, I suppose. Um, Get 
too crazy though, because it is a point of light. Okay. Um, but I don't know. I mean, there is like a, a leading of the eye. And then I think if I can establish like the size of this, the size of the focus, the subject, which I, I think is this ball of light here, um, which leads to what I think is the secondary subject, what I think is probably the mo more important part of the image, which is, well, it's my, it's my daughter. Um, she's holding a sparkler. Um, so I don't know, it, it leads the eye. There's a sense of like weight and scale that like you can kind of establish with it. I don't, I honestly don't really know. I'm trying to, I'm really reaching here for an explanation, but it's just something that kind of occurred to me. Um, Sorry, a little real-time editing of that layer there. I just didn't like how loud that sound was. It's nice to have a little distraction in front of me while I'm drawing, so if I, you know, I guess I can't really look at my phone since I'm using that to record, which now that I mentioned that, let me make sure we're still going. We are excellent at seven minutes. Yeah, even if you guys want to email me uh, any of your photos, I mean, they don't have to be, like, professional quality, you know? But, um, I don't know, it'd be a nice variety from, you know, the photos I take. And to kind of, like, spice things up, you'd be definitely giving me things that um, I may have never seen before, you know? <laughs> See if I'm uh, actually really good at drawing or just really good at uh, memorizing uh, <laughs> where to put lines in order to fake it, you know? Which I guess would be impressive in and of itself. That actually kind of is drawing, you know, you just kind of memorize how to put lines just out of sheer repetition and drawing things so many times. But you don't do it because it's not fun, folks. It is enjoyable, even if you don't get a good drawing.
We might mess up this face here a little bit, but that's okay. Can't win them all. Let's see if it'll come together in the back half. This might be one of those things that, without context, it looks weird, you know? I'm gonna give myself a break. I haven't given her the back half of her head yet, you know? Not complete. It's a little reserve judgment. But right now, uh, I don't know. That's bothering me. But I don't know, we'll, we'll see how the rest of it comes together. It's um, not a big deal. I keep, if I keep coming back to it, that's when it's gonna, <laughs> that's when it's gonna start to be bad. So this is, again, you gotta, just from drawing a lot, you gotta trust your better instincts to know that if you keep fiddling with it, like it's not gonna help. A lot of times what's gonna help it is the stuff around it coming together, which, oh, I think I might have, Lost the plot on a little bit, but you know what? That's okay. It's gonna look like she just got big hair or something. Or she's got um, one of them crystal skulls um, from what is arguably the best Indiana Jones movie. No, I'm just I'm just kidding. That's, um, but it's about to be not the worst Indiana Jones movie. Um, I don't know, this new one's looking pretty, pretty bad. <laughs> just, they gotta stop. Just give it up. Let Harrison Ford crash planes or whatever he wants to do with the rest of his life. He clearly does not care about any of these things anymore. Let the man be. He just wants to crash planes in Los Angeles. Did he crash one into a neighborhood or something I thought I read? Or is that somebody else? I don't know. Yeah, if a Harrison Ford crashed into your house in his plane, um, hit me up in the comments. Tell me about that. All right, that'll be fine. Again, the Mobius adage, make it look cool. Hopefully we can just kind of distract from, I don't know. I think there's some problem areas here, but it's not the worst thing I've ever seen. Give her a fat face, but that's okay. Usually with children and, um, and I mean, this is going to sound, especially in today's modern times, and women, um, when you're drawing them, you kind of want to stay away from like overly hatching their face because it tends to look a little rough because um, there's a real texture to doing stuff like this. And it's, when you look at something like that, your brain starts to be like, well, wait a second, what the hell, what, what's all over their face, you know? Um, and for whatever reason, like when you draw men, it doesn't seem to, doesn't seem to bother people, but yeah, with women and, and children, you kind of want to, you know, try to control yourself with your mark making a little bit. So otherwise it takes away that kind of, especially with children, that kind of youthful kind of characteristic of, of like a baby face or something, you know? 
and just makes it too busy. Like the face has seen too many things, you know? And we don't, we don't want that. They're children. We want them to look like children. That's all we're trying to do is make it look like the thing, at least a little bit, you know? Again, not going for photorealism. I don't got a camera in my hand. All right, let's see which one of these is a... value shapes. This one kind of leads right into here. into dark here. So it's just gonna make a lot of really fun shapes and these like different folds in the fabrics and how the lights and darks are playing on them. There's a little highlight just barely. That is, we'll just go ahead and do the outline of this arm here. Her hand is kind of in her sleeve here, so it's going to look like her arm's a little bit longer than an arm should be, but it's just really her shoulders coming down. The jacket's kind of coming off of her shoulder and her sleeve is going down her arm here. So it's gonna look a little strange. Hopefully it'll kind of clear it up when I put these fingers in here. Yeah, I think that, that works for me. This is a lot. This is basically black, and what I'm doing here is I'm kind of following the musculature of the thigh as it dips in towards the knee, and it kind of comes to a, tapers off to a point here, and comes back up into like a teardrop shape. And then this is where the other thigh kind of comes down here, and we can kind of just go ahead and make that line. And then the 
this is where that'll come up. And then she's standing kind of contrapposto. And the reason why I went ahead and did this line, you know, continuous is again, this is gonna be dark. So you're not gonna be able to see this as I add value or, you know, hide it with like some of that line work that I like to do. Um, hopefully that's pleasant for you to watch as much as it is for me to be making it. Oh yeah, we got our cowgirl boots on. From, what is it, Spirit uh, Untamed? That was a good movie. Um, whatever the recent Spirit movie was with the horse. It was a good adventure movie for little girls. Just enough peril, but, you know, not too, you know, not like overly annoying for adults. I thought it was, you know, I don't mind watching it 700 times. Um, you know, kids get kind of stuck on the same thing. So we're gonna kind of rob life out these feet here. Just kind of make sure they're going in the right angle, but just kind of the basic shape of the feet. And I think what will kind of become clear is a lot of th these shapes like this, um, again, this is a very dark background. So. Yeah. Yeah, we almost got the figure. Let's see how we're uh, are on time. Oh, 23 minutes. So yeah, we might be able to finish up this figure. Maybe get a couple of um, background details in to kind of, you know, imply lights and darks and blah, 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 blah. All that fun stuff. And it is fun stuff. like to make the background stuff a little bit more rigid because it provides like a separation between foreground and background as far as like the motion of some of these lines and you know it's very easy for this type of drawing to get like out of control too so it's like um, if you can kind of try to map it out in a very orderly kind of geometric way it definitely helps I think to like kind of keep you on the right path. Make sure you're doing the right thing in your drawing. This is about where it gets very dark, so we just gotta make these lines as close together as possible. And I think it'd be interesting because there's um, a lot of dark overtaking, you know, a lot of shadow overtaking some of the form in this image, um, as far as the figure goes. Um, I think it might be interesting to kind of, oh, let's see actually, let's map this out, to kind of have these parallel lines go into the figure where it makes these shapes. Um, so it creates this kind of like, um, I don't know, like a cohesion between foreground and background a little bit, you know? Kind of like uh, an area of compromise between the two types of lines. Between, you know, something like this and something like that. Yeah, a lot of drawing is like, you know, it's not necessarily drawing the thing, it's drawing the things around it, giving it context, you know? Like you wouldn't, this didn't look like a foot, this doesn't look like a foot until I started kind of filling in these areas around it. And then that starts to take form, you know?
This is where kind of maybe mapping out some of this stuff. You know, you, probably a good idea, but you know, you can kind of try to eyeball it sometimes too, and that's fun. But I don't know, that's up to you. This is another one of those instances where it's like, oh, he's going full black with a <laughs> a medium nib fountain pen. Yes, you know what? Yes, I am. I don't learn from these mistakes. I think I keep doing something like this because I don't know why. I wish I could tell you, but I keep doing it. So I don't know until a, a different way comes about or that starts to appeal to me for how to fill these areas in. Again, I just think it makes it a little bit more interesting if, uh, you know, rather than just like going full black with like a brush pen or something like that, I'm just filling it in solid. You know, this gives it a little bit of character, something to look at. We gotta be getting close to finishing up, so I do got, yeah, I gotta get going soon actually. I got an appointment, so let me just finish up these lines here, and we will call that, actually, you know, well, I'm sorry. Let's go ahead and give this some implication of it being in the round. And it's like, yeah, this is all pretty much full dark anyway. Yeah, okay. All right, well, that ought to do it for today. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful weekend. Um, as always, this has been Drawn and Drawn. Hit me up on Instagram, schoon.art, S-C-H-O-O-N, period, A-R-T. My website is www.schoon.art. Um, send me an email, jason at schoon.art. If you got some photos on your phone you want to see me draw, I don't know, send them to me. It might be fun. Um, anyway, see you all next week. Bye.